back to my trim and terrific kitchen. I have the most wonderful peanut butter cookie for you today. It's diabetic friendly, gluten free, two Weight Watchers points, and probably the best peanut butter cookie you will ever eat. In fact, most people that try this recipe never make any other recipe but this. So I think it'll be your favorite peanut butter cookie as well. So I'm gonna start with a little trick. Here's our ingredients. But you know, one of the things about making anything with peanut butter or honey, it's always sticks, it's hard to get out. So you wanna spray your measuring cup with a little nonstick cooking spray. And then we're gonna put our peanut butter in. Calls for a cup. Okay. And now watch how easy it comes out. Slides right out, doesn't stick. That's my tip for you today. Okay, and then we need a little light brown sugar. Just gonna mix it all together. You don't even need a mixer. A half a teaspoon baking soda, but make sure your baking soda is fresh. That's important. And one egg. You're right. I've had people ask me, well, I didn't see flour in the recipe. No flour in the recipe. And it comes out perfect every single time. And then we mixed it together, and we're gonna add a few chopped peanuts. Not a lot, but just enough to give it that texture and crunchy flavor. All right, so then we're gonna make them into little balls here. And here's another little tip for you. You can take a floured fork, and you know, you, when you go to the bakery, you get those ridges on your peanut butter cookies. Well, this is how you do it. Slide it, and if it messes, just put it back. Probably should have done my, that's why it's important to do your fork every time. Okay, that's it. Sometimes when I have a chocolate sweet tooth, I even put chocolate chips in it. You wanna bake it um, at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes, watch it, and you have the best peanut butter cookie you're ever gonna have. Now. I have a sweet tooth and I have to admit, I eat cookies every single night. And you know what I do? I'm gonna eat one of these right now, but guess what? These came from my freezer. I keep a bag of homemade peanut butter cookies or my oatmeal cookies or whatever in my freezer because cookies freeze well. And nothing is better than homemade cookies. My peanut butter cookie will be your favorite recipe. Mm, it's definitely mine. Peanut butter cookies is another Kitchen 101 recipe, obviously, because it's so simple. For this recipe, just see the link below, and you're going to want to go to my blog, which is thehealthycookingblog.com. I have tons of recipes, or you can sign up for my newsletter and receive a monthly newsletter every month with great recipes and tips like I've showed you today. See you in the kitchen. For this recipe and a discount code for all my cookbooks, just check the link below.